Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, but if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Sonia and I do cleaning motivation videos as well as vlogging and lifestyle videos. So with that being said, today video is a get ready to start your week off right. So today is Sunday, it is Sunday night, and so we're going to get our kitchen cleaned up in this video. So I will be showing you how I tackle the mess and the clutters in my kitchen as well as my refrigerator taking things out of there and getting rid of all the old i'm not going to wipe it down in this video but i am going to take out whatever is old and if there is some things in there that needs to be wiped down then we'll do that as well so with that being said we're going to declutter wipe down surfaces and we're going to also create an environment for all of our cooking ideals and forehead for the rest of the week so let's get started with this video and i hope that you guys get motivated as well as in your house as well so let's do this together so turn it on on every device that you may have to get the motivation now or save it for later all right so let's get started i tried to be your everything gave my everything i Sold out, now just look at me, I'm a ghost with nothing left Hollow, emptied out, but got lost, can't be found You stole every bit of me, now I can't remember I will make you answer for all of your mistakes 
We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and all broken hearts. But they can even touch us without a different beat. Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead. Ooh, getting caught in the mist is so many that never get out of. They're feeding the fears and the doubts. Ooh, but we're golden, we run to the end and we run without shame. husband has some pork inside this container and I just want to transfer it into a smaller container but I didn't realize he didn't want it into that com container because we have a vacuum seal and he wants to freeze it so he want to put it in one of his vacuum seal bags so you're going to see me put it back in this container and let him do what he needs to do with it.
curious to know, how long does it take you to do dishes? Before, I used to love doing dishes, but lately, now, I do not like doing it. I don't know why, but I just move so slow in doing it. But I found it to be a little relaxing, if that sounds a bit kind of <laughs> crazy, but that's just how I feel. You know, I do it and I get relaxed. I don't know if it's because of the suds or the warm water or the hot water that I use, but tell me down below, comment down below to let me know how long does it take you to do your dishes and if you enjoyed it or what's the best way that you do. Do you start from the bigger items down to the smaller ones or you don't start from the smaller to the biggest? Just let me know. And what kind of this detergent do you use? I love Dawn this detergent for a simple reason that is not as harsh as it is on your hands, but it takes away a lot of the grease. And a, a fun tip that I love to do, I haven't gotten it in a while, but I like to use the Dawn Power Wash um, for my stoves because it cuts the grease even more. And I use it for like my dishwasher when I clean it. So later on in the videos, maybe you'll see me use it, not in this video, but the future to come. I'll start back using those items again. But right now, you know, things are not as greasy as they were in the old place that I used to live in. So I'm really staying on top of that. I'm so proud of myself for doing that. And a fun fact, I just want to talk to you guys and let you know. And the reason for that is, I'm telling you, when you are not feeling your best, it shows on the outside. I am not lying. I was trying to do everything that I can, but because I had gained so much weight, I was sluggish all the time. I was just exhausted all the time, mentally, physically. I was just so drained and I was trying everything. Not only on top of that being drained, I was also retaining a lot of fluid. So lately what I have been doing was I've been changing my habits. I've been trying to exercise more, whether it's walking throughout my community a day or I'll go to my community gym and work out there as well. I've been changing my eating habits as well. Um, yeah, and just trying to do more movement, incorporating more movement in my body. And most of all, I do a lot of stretches. It may not look the best stretch at all, but eventually you'll get it. I find myself now able to climb up higher on things that I need to get top shelf without always asking someone to help me. I can make it up the stair stepper, you know, the steppers to get what I need to get or in corners that I need to get. I don't know about you guys, but these things do affect your physical being. When I try to um wipe down the walls down, you know, the baseboard, things like that, I used to get so much out of breath and exhausted, but now I can do that and I can bend more because it's not as much as weight that there were on my knees as before because it's slowly going down. When you're looking at this video right now, as I'm talking, I got on the scale this morning. I am down 15 pounds. Yes, 15 pounds. And I'm so excited that I'm getting back on track and doing the things that I love to do. And I hope this, me talking to you right now, will motivate you, not make you feel guilty, not trying to boast and brag about myself. But I am so proud of myself right now for the changes that I took. Like I said, it was not easy. It was not easy at all. It took some meditation in my mind, prayer to God, asking him to help me to just to even get started, just mentally. You know, I had to prepare myself mentally before I even got into it. And I'm telling you, you get that feeling when you first start, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get into it. I'm going to, you know, do it and everything. But then you turn around, the morning comes, is a totally story. You're like, oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to try the next day. And then it becomes the next day. It becomes the next day. And that's it. I'm telling you this because I have experienced it. So the best thing to do when you feel like that, just get up and do something. I don't care if you have to walk around your house for 10 minutes. Just do it five minutes. Just getting yourself motivated. Just, ex you know, just whatever makes it easier. You can do leg lift, calf raise, anything just to get you going, to get you inspired. Even watch the videos. You know, I always watch other people's videos. Like my kids' videos as well, you know. I watch their, their workouts and things like that. I watch my nieces and them work out and things like that. So these things helps me out a lot. Sometimes I go back and watch other people's videos. 
like Janelle Wright, I love her. Yes, she may get off track at times, but she gets back on it. You know, everybody has their roller coasters. So that lets you know we're not the only ones going through what we're going through. So, yeah, I watch all of those to get inspiration as well. You know, they motivate me as well, even though we're not in the same place. But, hey, we can look at each other's videos and get inspired. That's what it's about. These are why, This is why we put out these videos, you guys, so that you can, and you know, get motivated so that you don't feel like it's just you're in this alone. We're in this together. I may not be the most cleanest, spectacular house that you ever seen on here on YouTube, but guess what? It's my home. It's okay. And I'm getting the job done the best as I can. I'm taking my time. I'm not comparing myself with anyone else. I'm just being me. And I love being me. So with that being said, love yourself. Do the best you can. Be proud of what you have. You know, and once you keep doing that one little step, you'll get better and better and you'll feel better and better. So I'm not going to hold you no longer. So I just want to share that, you know, inspiration with you guys. And I pray to God that you be motivated by this, you know, message, whatever. I don't call it a message, but, you know, this inspiration that I'm telling you guys here on YouTube. Because this is what my platform is. It's not only to share my ideas, but it's to help one another. We can gain from one another. That's why I always encourage you guys to leave a comment down below, you know, tips down below. What would you do different than what I've done? Hey, I may try it. You know what I'm saying? So, is you know, we all, all this, we end this together. So, here I am. You know, I'm just drying my um dishes in here. I'm not going to wash them in here because I washed them already. So, what I do, I use this to dry it. So, as you can see, this is my first time really using this. <laughs> so, I'm trying to figure out because I seen the guy do it that showed me. He said, this is how you turn it, you know, to dry, rinse and dry. So I'm trying to figure this thing out, and I finally got it. Here you can see here, see, with a little determination, a little bit of motivation, and a little bit of inspiration, and uh, determination, you got it. Just keep trying it. Don't give up until you get it. All right? So I hope that helps you out, guys. Let's keep on moving with this video. Never to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion That was just substitution For a lonely bed So that's impressive How much you're messing With my feelings and my heart Oh yeah Yeah that's impressive How much you're messing With my feelings and my heart That I was out of my mind Thinking you were the one That it was love Feelings were strong I should've known I should've known I don't know what I was thinking Let it be more than drinking And going back to your place Never to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion That was just substitution for a lonely bed how much I'm messing with my feelings in my heart Oh yeah, yeah that's impressive How much I'm messing with my feelings in my heart Oh yeah Girl, you don't care, 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 girl,
best friends and I want to thank every break I want to thank every entrance to every building that I step in in this city of mine oh you most my best moments in life see I fell in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to goof off and spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want Keek drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt And me and Jack would get stony, walk around and get lost Don't think I'll ever truly pay back all I was lucky to get Just by walking through the city, no, I'm a small part of this to call my own so i travel and i roam till i find that but i'm full of adventure so i wander and i venture and it's safe to say that really i don't mind that i book a flight to try to figure where my mind's at a spot where i don't spend no money just some time at i mix and mingle with the people till i learn a little i brought some weed and baby maybe we could burn a little she said you're funny i said no i'm david and i left sun shining birds chirping let me take a breath i'm headed to the city where my chance to make it best what people People like to give a little, then you take the rest. I'm hoping one day maybe I can find a place to rest. I fell in love with life and wonder where it take me next. I like the hustle and bustle. I fell in love with. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this quick cleanup with me on Sunday afternoon. Um, I hope that you have a blessed Sunday and blessed week. This week that's coming up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos with everyone. Until the next time, guys. Love you and have a blessed day.